Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be cash stuffing my January paycheck number two. Really quick you guys, let me show you guys how I broke down my paycheck. So that's why I do have my notebook here so I could show you guys. So for this year I am using the percentage method which 50% um, um, of my paycheck is gonna go towards my needs which will be my cash envelopes and my bills. 30% I'm taking out for once and that will be for sinking funds and then 20% will go towards savings which that will be my future savings months ahead um, month ahead emergency and my 52 week savings challenge. If you want me to go over how I split down my paycheck in more detail I can also do that. Let me just know in the comments down below and then I will show you guys how I uh, break down my paycheck. Okay. So that's pretty much how I did it. Um, I just wanted to share this with you all before starting the cash stuffing. So let's get right into the cash stuffing now. Okay, so like I said, we are stuffing $412. Um, we are going to start off with my cash envelopes, which are here in my wallet. If I do have any leftover ones from my cash envelopes, I'm going to add those in my $1 savings challenge. So let's see, for personal, we have $2 left, so that means I'm going to add $2 into my um, $1 challenge. So personal will be getting $5 for this week. I don't tend to use this envelope that much, so that's why I give myself $5 every week. Or if I do have more money um, that I got paid, I would just add $10 instead of 5 so self-care has let's see 20 40 50 and 55 dollars and i'm not going to be adding anything in this envelope this week it does have enough money in there so i will be stuffing this with my etsy paycheck which is coming next week um for eating out as you can see i did deplete this envelope um i did buy some groceries so my eating out envelope, it's not only for like eating out, it's also for like groceries or if I do want to buy something for my home, um, I do take money from this envelope. So for this week, I am going to add $35. So that's 20, 30, and 5. Okay, so 35 going into eating out. And I do have some receipts here in the back, so I am going to be scanning my receipts in my Fetch Rewards app. I'm going to leave my code right here. If you're interested on downloading it and getting 2,000 points after scanning your first receipt. Um, so next, let me go ahead and move on to my bills. And I do apologize if you guys are able to hear any background noise. Um, my dad is watching a movie right now, so I don't know if you're going to be able to hear that. Um, I hope not, but it's kind of loud. So for phone bill, I am adding $7. So 5, 6, and 7. So now phone bill has 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So $14 for phone bill. Okay, um, health insurance, we will be adding $30 to this envelope. So 20 and 30. So now health insurance has 20, 40, 50, and 60. I do pay 120 a month for my health insurance. Rents will be getting 125. I do pay $500 a month. So 500 divided by four weeks is 125. And that's the reason why I do add this amount in here. So Rent now has 100, 200, 20, 40, 45, and 50. So 250. So that's exciting. Okay. For my grandmother, I am adding $5. So now my grandmother has 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, and 40. So this is already a perfect amount for me to send her. Um, am I going to take this out? Or is it too early? Um, I think it is early. So 
let me just wait um one more week and i'm gonna um, stuff some money from here because um my grandmother's birthday is coming up so i do want to send her some money if you're new to my channel i do send money to my grandmother and for my dog and they live in peru right now so um i will usually um stuff the money at the end of the month but my grandmother's um birthday is coming up in two weeks so i don't want to send the money at the end of the month like after her birthday so i think i'm just gonna wait one more week and then i'm gonna send this money to her um so for my dog my dog is going to get um let's see five dollars so he now has 20 30 35 and 40. so okay and that is it for this binder guys um next we have my clear binder which is where i keep my savings and um, some of my sinking funds so for this category, I am taking 10% off from my income. 10% um, of 412 will be $41. So that's the amount I'm going to be adding here. So 20, 40, and 41. So let's go ahead and count this money. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Wow, we already have $105 in this envelope, you guys. So there's something I'm going to do with this envelope, you guys. I did buy some prop money because um, I wanted it for this um, specific category. Because this money that I do add in my savings envelope, I do invest it in an app that is called Acorns. So I prefer to have this money investing instead of like being here in this envelope. So I am going to be replacing this money with... Uh, prop money today so like i said we have 105 dollars so this is my prop money here and this money i am going to add it here okay okay and let me show you guys really quickly my acorns account how it is performing today is thursday that i'm recording this video um so let's see okay Okay guys, so this is my Acorns account and my account right now is valued at $3,660. Um, so far, I have invested $3,497 and I do have a recurring investment of $5 still transferring. I, do, I did set my account to transfer $5 a day, so that's what this recurring investment is. So going back here... My performance um, so far, I am gaining $158 for the day. We went down $38.63, and that's because the stock market right now is down, so that's why it went down 1.04%. Um, but yeah, this is how my account is doing at the moment, and I will be investing the money that I took from my savings envelope in here so i'm gonna have in total so i should have in total here three thousand six hundred and five dollars invested okay because like i said three thousand five hundred is what i um saved last year so um so that's why i was trying to get to that point and i will just invest the rest of my savings in here okay guys so going back to the cash stuffing month ahead we'll be getting sixteen dollars so ten fifteen and sixteen so now month ahead has ten fifteen twenty twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty and thirty one so thirty one dollars for month ahead that's very exciting you guys um last year i didn't have this category but i thought that it is very important to have this, um, you know, in the just in cases. So that's why I added it this for this year. Um, car will be getting 35. So 20, 30, and 5. So 
So we now have 1,000, 2,000, 120, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200, 5, 10. So 2,210 dollars for a car. I am saving this money guys for me to buy a car because I currently don't have a car. So that's the reason why I have this amount. Um, moving is getting $25. So 20 and 5. So moving has 1,050, 70, 90, 100. 10, 20, and 25. So 1,125. I am currently living with my dad. So this is me slowly saving for when the time comes and I do need to move out. Um, parents will be getting $5. So now they have 10, 15, 20, and 25. And this is for um, my parents' birthdays or um, Father's Day, Mother's Day, you know, anything related to my parents. So, Joel will be getting $5. So, now he has 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and 35. My envelope will be getting $5. Okay, so we have 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, and 60. So $60 for my envelope. So exciting, you guys. So exciting. By the way, I did get the nail powder dip, and that's what I'm wearing in my nails today. I don't know if you guys could tell, but I actually like it. Um, I don't know what you guys think, but right now my nails are really, really short. I did cut them because I've been working on orders. Um, I did send a lot of orders today. So that's why my nails are really short. But overall, I am really liking this nail powder tip. So yeah, um, I might link it down below if you guys are interested. Okay, so school will be getting $15. So $10, $15. So we now have 20, 30, 35, and 40. So 40 for school. The school is so expensive, guys. So I'm slowly saving for my classes. Um, health will be getting $1. So we have 100, 150, 170, 180, 185, 86, and 87. So $187 for health okay for clothes I'll be adding two dollars so one and two so clothes now has 20 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 and 40 so 40 dollars for clothes and we do have a lot of ones in here <laughs> So 40, that's very exciting. I did not buy any clothes lately, so I'm just going to be building this up. Gift, we'll be getting $12, so 10, 11, and 12. And we do have a lot of ones in here too, wow. Okay. So gifts now has 20, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. So we have reached $50 for gifts. Very exciting, guys. Um, I don't have any birthdays coming up yet, but I do want to save money here because, you know, because um, I would be needing this money a lot, so... $50 so far. That's very exciting. Um, for Christmas, I'm stuffing $13. I did do my math for this envelope, so $13 a paycheck works fine for me. I'm trying to save, I believe, over $500 um, uh, for this year because $300 that I saved last year was not enough for me. 
so I decided to budget more money um, for this year. So Christmas, I did add 10, so I need $3. So one, two, and three. So Christmas now has 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and 26. So 26 for Christmas, very exciting. Electronics won't be getting anything, neither is travel. So that is it for this binder. Let me go ahead and move on to my last binder here. Okay, and I believe the only envelope that I'm stuffing in this binder will be um, emergency and um, my $1 savings challenge. So let me do my emergency fund savings challenge first. Um, which I will be coloring this week, um, how much? $25, so, so, the 25, so 25 right here, okay, and let's go ahead and add 25 in this envelope, so 20, 25, so now for emergency fund savings challenge, we have 20, 40, 50, 55, and 60, I did reach a thousand dollars last year but I decided to take my placeholder out from this envelope because I did want to start fresh for the new year so I am trying to save another thousand for this year um, now my one dollar challenge I will be adding two dollars that was left from my um, personal envelope so now for the dollar challenge we have one two and three Okay, and my savings challenge I'm not going to be stuffing today because if you guys watch my last video, which was my um, Etsy cash stuffing, um, I did um, stuff this savings challenge with $25 from that paycheck. So that did cover this week's um, amount. So that's why I'm not stuffing anything in this savings challenge. But so far, let's go ahead and count this money. We have 20, 30, 35, and 40 for my savings challenge. And I am trying to reach $1,340 in this envelope. So that is it for this cash stuffing, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as always. And let me tell you guys, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for 4,000 subscribers. I am in shock, although we were very close to reaching the goal, but when we reached it, I was like, oh my god, <laughs> I can't believe it. I was like, oh my god, I can't believe it. This is like, this is a lot of people, you know. So thank you, thank you so much for supporting me, for subscribing to my channel and watching my videos. I do appreciate you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for that. And yeah, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe and um, turn on the notification bells so you are notified every time I do upload a new video so that you don't miss it out. Um, so with that being said, you guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye!